Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Andy here, aka Montolio, and we're here for another Power 9 challenge. It is currently May the 28th, and we are playing our TKS Shops build, and we've drawn JD Phoenix. And JD Phoenix, I, I, I'm not 100% sure, but he's been playing some Blood Moon recently. Uh, we, we do know that he is a blue player, so whether that's Mentor or TT, or we will find out momentarily. We won the die roll, which is great. This hand is unfortunately not very good. Um, I, I don't think it's one we can ship back. Being on the play, having the sphere here is very strong, and we do have a revoker and a wasteland to follow up uh, the next turn. The key is resolving the sphere resistance, so we're going to keep it. We could be uh, we could get into trouble pretty quickly, pretty quickly though with this hand uh, if our sphere gets uh, countered. So let's hope it just resolves, and it does. Great start. Worst case scenario, hopefully our opponent just has the one mox. Okay, so this has worked out really well for us here so far. Uh, the only thing that's not great about this situation is uh, that we can't wasteland. So we are going to try and resolve a revoker. Yeah, so he is going to force this, and he pitched a fluster storm, which is fine. Um, just gonna play a <sighs> I think I'm gonna play a wasteland here so he doesn't think that I, I'm able to cast something over my sphere and then hopefully he taps out and next turn I can slam a trike. Now let's try that. We'll just conceal a little bit of information here. Yeah, we're showing them the wasteland, but the, the, oh, our opponents missed a land. That's uh, really good for us. So let's see if we can resolve a Triskillian. This is pretty important we resolve this, but because we don't have any other heat, hopefully uh, he doesn't have another force. And hopefully he can, oh, Ancestral, good for him. That's, that's an excellent draw for him. Wow, look at the basics. So this could very well be Blood Moon we're playing against here. That was a really good draw for us. Scary thing is here is he may have a, a Mana Drain, which is pretty tough on us. Mandarin. All right. It's a little bit unfortunate. Just going to play with the Eldrazi Temple there. So, so this could be a Jace the Mind Sculptor we're facing down here. So undoubtedly, this is a little bit of an awkward position for us. We have not really been able to follow up uh, uh, plays with, uh, with with spheres or or whatever be it. A little bit difficult getting that Ravager countered there. We we saw the mana drain, but we couldn't play around it. Obviously. Oh, that's fortunate. Oh wow. Uh, of course, we've bricked here. Uh, so he's bricked on lands and so have we. Just not much we can do about it. We just gotta hope that uh, he doesn't draw anything here. All right. Trinosphere is okay. Um. I don't know if I want to cast into a mana drain here. I think I'm going to pass here. Uh, 
Okay, so he needs to answer this right here. Um, I'm going to play a thorn here. This will force his hand, so he is force of willing it. Um, now I'm going to try a Trinisphere. Uh, he no longer can mana drain us. And this is just game if this resolves. Yeah. Okay, uh, we, I would say we got a little bit fortuitous there. Our opponent had two basics, also had an Ancestral Recall, as well as uh, a Mana Drain, a couple Forces of Will. So he kept us off balance with a counter type of hand. But um, Chalice of the Void is not typically great against Blue Moon. I guess they do run a, a moderate amount of cantrips in their deck. Yeah, so they don't have a ton of ones, actually. I don't think I really am going to keep Chalice. I, I mean, I'm not 100% sure what we're playing against here. If it is Blue Moon, though. Blue Moon can be a tough match. Also makes casting Thought Knots here a lot diff more difficult. <laughs> and everything in my deck, for that matter, more difficult. But Bring a miser mental misstep. No, no true rationale for that other than trying to hit steel sabotage or something of that nature. Or an ancestral recall. We'll keep this hand. Very similar to our last hand in that we've got a couple wastelands. We've got a sphere and uh, an early creature. Our opponent has mulligan, which is good. But Wasteland, as we saw last game, is not that effectual against our opponent because he runs basics. Hopefully this is not a quick uh, Jace. Okay, so this could be an early... Uh, um, I'll try and land a Thorn here. I mean, Thorn is not that great against him in this situation because he's got so much land, but um, we'll see. If he wants to burn his Lotus and a Force of Will to counter it, I'm actually okay with that. I'm going to just put out a Hangerback Walker for one. But I, I would like it to resolve, obviously. But it's not a terrible trade, trading a Lotus and a Force of Will for it. Which is exactly the case my opponent has here. He's uh, contemplating whether he wants to uh, waste his force of will here. What we become concerned about is something like a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay. So uh, that seems really bad to me. Uh, I'll be honest with you. That's even better for me because he just gave away a Lotus for two mana. Um, you know, hopefully he didn't draw a Jace the Mind Sculptor or something, but. And he did. Okay. So we'll see if he ramps this thing up here. And he's just brainstorming. Um, he's played a land. So can we cast a trike here? It does not appear we can. Yes, we can. So we're going to be able to kill Jace, but obviously it's uh, it's expensive for us to, to do it. But unfortunately, we got no. We're, we're very fortunate to be able to be able to kill it. But it's unfortunate that we've got to burn our Triskillian to, to do it. Yes. 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 Okay. It's not a lot of board presence, is it?
Okay. Got my sphere. <sighs> I'm going to try and incite him to do this right now. Which it looks like he's going to. And I'll move into combat. Now, I, I could have obviously played the Ravager first, sacked the Thorn. He would have he would have just responded anyways and just killed it. But uh, regardless, um, and I'm not willing to uh, sacrifice my Ravager here. Not ideal, not only hitting him for one, but. Jace is great. Jeez, he's really drawing well here. So we'll see what he does. This does force our hand. We are going to have to kill this here this turn. So hopefully we draw an artifact. He may he may fate seal here too. So opponent's trying to think about what he wants to do here, whether he wants to draw an extra card, filter his uh, library a little bit. No, he has Fate Sealing. Put the card at the bottom, which is good, because we're getting a fresh card. We know we're not getting a land. Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, the unfortunate thing is we... We can't really kill Jace, right? My attack, if I sacrifice this, two, that's three, and then I can sack the Ravager and shoot it down. Yeah, that does work. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are just going to cast a Thought Knot Seer here. It, it is a little bit of a waste, but we're not going to get a better opportunity than this. Not super ideal, as I said, but um, we are able to remove the J. So once again, pretty lucky to be able to do that. Okay. Unfortunate, a little bit of a brick there, but... Play with the wasteland. Anything would have been good there for us. I mean, our opponent bricked, and so did we. Basics. Dig through time's a really good card here. Wow, what a beating! He's just peeling cards off the top here. Uh, he's pulled a couple Jaces off the top, also a dig. So I suspect this could be pretty bad for us, but we'll see. I mean, Thought Not Seer here is definitely applying some pressure on him. Currently, he's a three turn clock, but a quick Trike or Ravager could change that. Or any creature for that matter. 
One of the nice things about dot knots here in this situation is the fact that it cannot be targeted with regular removal. So Ravager's a nice draw here. Um, I'm going to plow in here. Once again, I could have played the Ravager pre-combat, but I'm not going to do that. And I'll just play out a Ravager here. Let's see what happens. Gives me a little bit of protection. I'll just play out the workshop. No reason not to. So what is this? Chandra. Okay. Chandra is pretty good. I don't think it gets him there. It actually wipes my board to each creature. Yeah. He does get my board that way. Jeez. Okay. And he gets to draw a card. That's pretty bad. I was hoping that that wouldn't be enough there. All right. Well, we're going to need to draw something here, guys. Suspect we lost there. Uh, Chandra was really good. Dig through time is a real card, guys. Okay, so now we're uh, pretty much losing it here. Glad to see him draw moxes here. Okay. We get E probably, or a top is what he's going to get. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ravager's pretty good. I mean, he doesn't do much right now, but he will eventually. Is this a dock? Yep. Love a trike off the top here, guys. <sighs> Can't cast it. It's unlikely it would resolve anyways, but it would have been nice to be able to get that out there. would have put a lot of pressure on him. Beats. Drake is a good one here. Let's see if we can get this guy in. Highly, highly unlikely, but if it does resolve, then we can cast Thought Knots here as well. No, he's got force there. Yeah, okay. We gotta try, guys. Sad thing is, this Dark Vaden is getting built up to out of range here for us to kill very quickly. So, Oh, good for our opponent. Uh, I mean, I thought we had him on the ropes pretty good there. I won't lie to you. Hmm. I really haven't seen any one casting cost spells out of him, really, other than Ancestral. Blood Moon is terrible. 
Relic can be okay here. Let's go with what we got here, guys. Pretty nice. Turn one lodestone. Let's see if we can get it in. I mean, this hand is not great if the lodestone doesn't resolve, but the nice thing is, is that it's unlikely that they have missteps. Let's see if we can get our old restricted friend in here. Pretty nice. Hopefully he's got a fair hand here just to land. Lotus, Jesus. Is that a Doc Faden? That would be frightening. Okay, I'm going to play a sphere here. Let's see if I can incite his hand here. So we're going to get mana drained. Four as well, interesting, okay. See if he's got another one. He does not. All right. This feels pretty good. Obviously, it's still fragile, but um, yeah, I think uh, that's correct. Mana crypt, okay. Not very good. Do I just want to play the Mana Crypt out is the question. I don't think so. Hopefully he doesn't have an instant here. No, good. All right, we're getting close. I'm hoping that uh, I can draw a trike or a sphere of some sort here. Uh, I don't, do I want to, I don't think so, I don't need to do this right now. I didn't need to do that there, but I, I did because um, just on the off chance or some type of instant that he can flash into play here, we are going to try and do the wire as well, but let's see if it works. Well, here we go, guys. Let's see. All right, it's good news. All right, 